everyone's very warm welcome to the next short uh, series on SAP FSM. So today we are going to discuss about screen configuration and extensions. Now what exactly is the screen configuration? Now let's say you are using your SAP FSM application. Now let me just go to the planning and the dispatching module. Now you are implementing SAP FSM for one of your uh, customers and now let's say when you open this service call screen now might be there is a requirement from your customer side where they want to add a new field okay or might be they want to make this particular field mandatory or there can be uh, chances that might be based on the origin of, of uh, this particular service call you want to uh, enable one more field on the screen so there can be so much of a different of a requirement from your customer side now, how to achieve this in SAP FSM? Now, to achieve this in SAP FSM, it's all about the screen configurations. So, I think the same uh, we I have just tried to return it out what exactly the screen configuration and how does that particular screen of UI configuration look like in your SAP FSM. Now, the important thing is that how do we actually do it? Now, let me just quickly go into uh, into my company settings so now here i think if I, you go to your company so there is a uh, option of a service configuration and here you see different kind of screen which are available for the extension now again these are for your mobile and for your desktop again when i say the mobile again it's for your is android or a window i think the most uh, common one you have it here is for the service call so now let me just do one thing let me just check it out if uh, where we have for a service call let me just do one thing let me just take my activity for the time being okay let's show you one of the screens now let's say if i just go into this activity slide bar i can just quickly click on the pencil button here and now what just happens is it show you, shows you it shows you this kind of a screen so here you have uh, a way with the help of which you will be able to able to add your extension field you will be able to make write some kind of a condition logic everything is possible here on this kind of screen but again just one heads up don't expect too much of extension uh, on on this screen okay it can happen that there are some limited options you have it if you try to compare it with might be on to my side that okay sam can i i can do this kind of a logic can i make add a table or if i can write some kind of uh, custom logic don't expect that kind of a thing this is a normal uh, screen configuration where you will be able to just define your fields set might be some kind of character stick if it's a mandatory read or uh, or or if it's uh, or if you want to define some kind of a logical condition so that kind of a configurations you will be able to do in this particular uh, UI configuration now again here uh, there are so much more details to it how do we actually extend it what are the different ways to do it or how what types of custom will be actually can create it out so there are so much of different options we have available here and so this is just one example of it and then might be i'm sure when you join the course in that particular case you will be able to see there are multiple use cases we have defined for the screen configuration so that was on on the screen configuration part again i let me just change the view again so here you see we can define as i've told you some kind of configurations where you will be able to define some kind of a logic or your advanced setting where you want to might be raise a message make the visibility expression editable required or do some kind of a validation part all these things are possible here in this particular screen now the next important topic is uh, extensions okay so now i'm sure there can be chance that you have developed some kind of uh, independent external extension might be a small app okay it might be some kind of a notes keeper or a session clock and you want to attach it to your stpfs screen again whenever you talk about adding your extensions onto the screen i think that is always important that you see what kind of 
uh, if is if there is really an extension point available okay if there is extension point available then you have the concept of single extension outlet and multi extension outlet and with the help of which you will be able to add your extension into your sap fsm uh one note and i think an important point here so whenever we just talk about an application like sap fsm which actually gives you so much of functionality okay with the native mobile app don't expect too much of uh logic or enhancement and i would always suggest that if you are looking for any kind of implementation in sap fsm always try to see what best you can fit into their pre delivered uh functionalities okay rather than thinking from this sap on premise mindset let me just add some kind of a body logic or anything no always in a cloud based application try to see how you can really fit with the features provided by sap fsm because in that particular case your scenarios will be watertight if you try to develop some kind of enhancements complex enhancement you will have always trouble in maintaining it in the long term perspective so guys again so that was a quick session on your ui configuration mostly your screen configuration if you still have any kind of a question please feel free to reach out to us in case if you are interested in joining the batch here is my number and an email id thank you so much